Well, I've been uh, tag slapped by Brother Marshall, um, so I better make a video. Uh, first of all, just want to say just a, a quick thank you to Roman Legionnaire 77. Um, that shout out vid was unexpected this morning when I turned the computer on and very, very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, it's a huge respect for doing that. Um, but yeah, uh, go to knives, EDC. Um, there's a few things I normally carry, it depends on where I'm going. If I'm going out and about in the woods, um, any, anywhere where I might need a, a decent knife, then there's my Spartan, without a doubt. Um, if it wasn't for tight UK laws, uh, I would probably carry this exclusively. Because um, it just does everything well, really. Um, quick deploy out my pocket. Uh, with a bit of a modification on there, I can get right up close for delicate work, uh, for whittling or anything like that. It doesn't hold the best edge in the world. Um, it doesn't hold a very good edge at all really but it's a, a good hacking knife uh, it does its job very well um, spends most of its time uh, debarking wood to be honest this lives in my pocket probably second most um, which is Ontario rat one and this does hold an edge a lot better a lot better even though it's the same steel well, it's obviously a much different profile but yeah I like to carry that because it's it's very it's very slim um, and just feels nice in the hand. Normally got paracord just in case um, but I spilt coffee all over it thanks to the little kitten um, so don't wear it at the minute. Gotta give these guys a mention Seeing as I do spend a lot of time carrying these. This is an underrated um, underrated bit of gear. Uh, Leatherman Secateurs. I carry these, again, pretty much whenever I go anywhere at Woodland. Um, these are normally attached to me. And these, I do believe, are actually UK legal carry within reason because the blade doesn't lock. I mean, I suppose somebody might argue that, that that's technically locked, but obviously you wouldn't go to the supermarket with them. But yeah. Um, this lead lenser p4 uh this tends to live with me quite a lot as well uh whose batteries are failing but, um this gets a lot of use it's not overly powerful i think it's only about 15 20 lumens something like that but then again sometimes you don't want massive power but that that goes with me a lot um occasionally I take this place is with me as well, which is an old Spyderco Chinook. Uh, it's the first one. I've had this a long time. Um, this I've had this a long time as well. Um, I used to carry this everywhere, but again, thanks to being slowly disarmed by our government, I can't anymore because it's got a locking blade. Um, in the pouch there is normally a, a fire steel in there, but it's in my garage at the minute, I need to put that back in actually. Um, lead lens of P3 in the side. And a surge. Not going to go into too much detail. Um, but this has seen insane amounts of abuse 
I've never looked after it. I do now, but in the past I've never looked after it. There's one thing I did forget, which is permanently in my pocket, all the time, is um, is this. All the time. Never leaves my pocket. Um, it's not the best one I've made, but it's not bad. It's a Marcus Arebony core. But um, 1745 tubes. And a super shield sure pouch on there. No guesses who that is in the background. Um, yep, that's always, always in my pocket. And also, it's normally always in my pocket and in the washing machine and in the car and all over the floor and being carried around by the cats um, is various different forms of ammo from nine and a half mil steel balls 38 caliber lead balls 12 millimeter lead balls yep nearly forgot that 